Greetings, friends. Dallas Paul here. We're looking at this new Hades patch, patch 046. Um, it looks like this dropped yesterday while I was at camp. Uh, so let's go over it. It looks like there's some cool stuff. I, I read over it a little bit. Um, so they're anticipating one more patch after this one. That's cool. All right. Uh, Eternal Spear, slightly increased attack range, increased damage of first thrust and attack sequence, increased throw special speed. The, ag uh, the Zagreus aspect fixed an issue where it was not affecting charge up time. Um, okay, I'm guessing charge up time. Okay, the 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 spin attack. I'm guessing because they're not saying that this this spear throw hammer upgrade charge up time. Um, that's my guess. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't exactly say what issue it was that was not affecting charge up time. Anyway. Uh, Eternal Spear, Achilles Aspect, this is interesting. Increase the number of damage bonus instances. So it was at two damage bonus instances. Uh, throw Special now is press and hold for variable range. So it's kind of, it can become a little bit more of a controlled movement ability. Um, this is cool. I hope, I, I don't know if it's three or or four. I'll have to, we'll have to just see. We'll have to just see. Um, and then charges and chain skewer no longer offered. Hades aspect, spin attack, radius is increased. So but you kind of get, maybe you get a little bit more of a of a big spin, uh, maybe with, with this one. That's cool. Um I think that they need they need they need to give Hades aspect a little bit of love. I think they do. Hard seeking bow Rama aspect, slightly reduced charge time. It is faster. Okay. And increased power shot damage, reduce the fire speed and auto lock angle of volley special. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I'm not sure what the auto lock angle means, but um, but I like the rest. I like the the increased power shot and the and reduced charge time. I think that makes it that makes it better. Bronze skin scales better with palms. Strong drink no longer offered if you have not unlocked the Tartarus Fountain Chamber. That seems <laughs> that seems valuable. Uh, seems like a good idea because you yeah you need to be able to go to fountains. Um, Drift dash also makes you sturdy. Now called hyper sprint, okay. So you can know you that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, it makes you not only do you run really fast for a little bit, but you are sturdy. Maybe I need to maybe I need to, to re reignite the drift dash passion. Eclipse now also gives bonus gemstones, okay. So that's I think that was the one that was just giving darkness now, it gives gemstones as well. Brilliance cut from game due to the previous change, cool. So eclipse and brilliance have been rolled into eclipse. Perfect. Ruin is cut from the game. Don't remember what Ruin did. Anyone in the comments want to mention what Ruin did? <laughs> You'll be that'll be helpful. Double Nova no longer reduces area of effect. Oh baby, this okay. They they made Double Nova have reduced area of effect a while back, and it became it it immediately became almost unplayable. Like it, you had to be so close to enemies for Double Nova to be valuable. Uh, repulse shot increase, not back, knock back. Cool. Piercing volley significantly increased damage to armor. Good. I don't remember piercing volley what the percentage was before, but you need a high percentage for something that's such low damage uh, that as piercing volley is, right? You need lots. You need lots of extra damage. Minotaur rush increased damage, power charge timing easier to execute. Fantastic. They've so they made power shots a little bit easier to do. It seems like maybe people weren't able to do it, or I don't know. Maybe they had play testing that showed that it wasn't really working super well for most people. Flurry jab, adjusted auto attack, improved interaction with swift strike, fixed a bug where it could be offered if you had flaring spin. Daedalus, okay. Spear, Daedalus, spear, flaring spin, okay. So that's the that's the other Daedalus hammer. Where it could be offered if you had flaring spin. Okay, I don't know what flaring spin is exactly, but flurry jab basically you can't have a spin attack if you have flurry jab, right? Flying cutter reduced charge up time. It is faster. Right on. Heavy knuckles increased damage. Cool. Quake cutter increased damage. I like all that. I like the fists so much, and the the fact that they're buffing it only only makes me happy because I feel like they're pretty strong. <laughs> Final boss, you are no longer auto lock to the summoned urns. Very good. That's good. You don't, I mean, you don't want to hit those urns. Nobody cares about those urns. You want to avoid hitting the urns. <laughs> Price of Midas, increased minimum money value for life sacrifice. So they're buffing that. 
updated list of minor prophecies, Chthonic knowledge, increased required number of codex unlocks to fulfill this. God of swiftness now requires finding bad news. Hermes. Okay. I see. So the God of swiftness being the, uh, being the Hermes ending text, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the fatal list of my, okay. So just, it's adding bad news, which is a new Hermes boon, I'm guessing to the, to this prophecy. Menus and UIs, uh, let's see. Cost appears in red, very nice, actually. That's nice, because I actually missed that I hadn't gotten. For a long time, I thought I'd unlocked all of the uh, the reroll, <laughs> whatever those are, um, faded authority or whatever. And then and then I and I was watching someone else, I'm like, hey, you have twice as many as I do, what, what gives? And then I looked back, I was like, oh, I haven't unlocked them all. <laughs> and it takes a long time to unlock them, so anyway. Uh, yeah, good, good music. Um, I don't think, let's see, sound effects, cool. Um, I don't think a conversation with Achilles, with aspects of, uh, conversation with Achilles about aspects is no longer needed for him to reveal the aspect of Guan Yu. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't, I don't, I guess maybe that's something that you used to have to do and you had to do a few runs and then have him say all those things before it would show up, probably. More localized strings. Uh, fishing points in chaos. <gasps> yes. Oh, but updated head, she head chef rewards to compensate. Oh, a suggested appearance rate of fishing points in Tartarus. They're too likely to appear in the first chamber. They, they appeared about 50% of the time, I think. Maybe, maybe even more than 50%. Uh, voice hint plays slightly sooner when repeatedly attempt to use cast while out of bloodstones. Improved presentation of strong drink. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see. Presentation when you enter the bone hydra's chamber. Ooh, cool. Tuned uh, interact distances in lyre and gaming table decorative items. Cool. I, I remember lyre is kind of awkward to interact with. That was something that I'd always noticed. Or like he moves in a funny way. Like, he has to, <laughs> you push the button twice before the sound actually uh, occurs. Um, text feedback on near miss effects. Okay, cool. That's, yeah, they, they would let you know when Ruthless Reflex was up, and I suppose there's a lightning bolt, so they're just adding a little bit more text feedback. Okay. Reduced frequency of how, of how often you can admire Skelly's unlockable prices <laughs> if you have them all. Okay. All right. I don't, I didn't have a whole lot of, I didn't have any crashes since the, the, the patch went live. Um, bone hide remain heads appearing sooner than intended. Chthonic companion summons could deal bonus damage from certain effects. Shield of chaos, cast abilities are purged. Uh, okay. Fixed visual issues toggling between fireplace decorative items. <laughs> Oh, can you toggle between them? Okay, so if you if you buy multiple versions of a type of thing, can you then like cycle between them? I never noticed that. I wonder if I wonder if you can. That would be cool. Toggling between fireplace decorative items. <laughs> All right, we'll have to we'll have to look into that. Fixed a voice hint about your dash not playing when intended the first time you meet Eurydice. Huh. Fixed voice hint about your dash. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to dash into a room, right? You can't run into a room. There's no entrance. You just dash in. Fixed Dionysus, wall scroll, decorative item. Why is that, anyway? Why do we have to dash into Eurydice's room? What's what's the deal with that? Anyone? <laughs> uh, let's see. Fixed for incorrect use icon using stubborn defiance in the courtyard. Other minor fixes. Okay, cool. This this all sounds great. I like I like these uh, I like these little changes. What do you guys think? Uh, leave a comment below. I hope you're having an excellent day, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.